It's it, man. Hope you guys are doing good today. Today I got a quick PSA reveal for you. I just have a couple cards that we sent off for some of you guys that you guys hit in the group break, so we got some of those back. I uh, haven't even told you guys this, the grades to some of them yet, so this will be a surprise just for some of you guys. And then I have a few personal cards of my own, including one that I bought raw off eBay and got back. I'll tell you how I did on that and what kind of return I got on buying that. Uh, here, let's jump right into it. The first card was a Lamella Ball Choice Blue. This is a second year, so that's number to 99, and this one was Lisa C. And this one did come back a nine, though uh, I think it was just a little bit uh, off-centered, a little thicker on the top and the left. As far as corners and everything, I didn't see anything wrong with it, but yeah. Then we have another Lamella Ball. This one is a Mosaic Red Wave. Uh, this one was hit by Kenneth R. Congratulations, Kenneth. He hit this in a group break. We sent it off to PSA. It did come back a 10. So Lam Lamel Ball, 10 there for Kenneth. Uh, this next one, there's a story behind this one. You guys have definitely seen this one. This is, this is the LeBron James Peacock that was hit in a mega box. Uh, I did not hit it. It was hit in a mega box on, a, I think, a Facebook Live, like rip, like a personal rip or something like that. It, it, the news made the sports world crazy because they're like, oh my gosh, you could hit uh, peacocks out of the mega boxes. I think that actually pushed the sales of the mega boxes for a little bit. Well, this card actually was sold to RGL, and RGL put it in one of his mystery bags, and uh, it was won by, and then it was won by Keenan. In the mystery bag, so Keenan Keenan won it, uh, and then Keenan sent it to me to get graded for him. It did have a print line, as RGL disclosed in the uh, the top here, I believe. So we sent it to PSA. It did come back a nine, so still a pretty good card. Actually, that was really good for having the print line it did have. I believe I've seen print lines like that before, and it's got like eights and sevens for a similar print line. So a nine is really really solid, and that's a great looking card. Congratulations, Keenan, on the grade. This next one is a Mac Jones Storm Chasers. This was hit was hit in one of my group breaks by Sean L. Sean L. So we sent it to PSA. And boom! PSA 10 for Sean on the Mac Jones Storm Chasers. Beautiful card. Wow, these are probably the best looking um, case hits out of Mosaic. I think they're a lot better looking than the stained glass and all that. So congratulations, Sean, on the Mac Jones. This next one was also hit in a group break. This was hit by Vet. It was it's a gold Yuki um, Sunoda uh, F1 Tops Chrome. It is his rookie or the freshest rookie card, and it is the portrait version number to 50, 16 of 50. Uh, we sent it to PSA and it came back another 10. Awesome! Congratulations to Vet. Um, He's gonna be a guy to look out for. He, you know, he's a rookie in F1, and I heard he's got potential. So I don't watch too much F1, but some, probably a card you want to hold on to. Um, actually, the next card I want to show you, I do not have on me, but I'll pop a picture of it on the screen. It was hit by Eric S in the group break. It is a Contenders first off the line red shimmer to five jersey number of Josh Giddy three of five. Uh, we sent it off to PSA, and it came back. A PSA 10 as you can see on the screen right there congratulations to Eric that is an absolutely huge card uh, we mailed it to him already so that's why I don't have it on me uh, this next card was hit in a group break you guys might remember this this was a Magic Johnson and Steve Nash passing the torch uh, Steve Nash was number 10 on the Lakers this card was uh, 10 of 25 somewhere let me look at it oh there it is it's in the corner 10 to 25 so Steve Nash's jersey number um, Magic Johnson sticker autos Magic Johnson one side Steve Nash on the other this the auto got a 10 and the card itself got a 9 which is a pretty good score for um, for an older card sick card especially if you're a Lakers fan there this next monster was hit also by Marcus in a group break 2021 contenders Luka Doncic some of you guys are here for that this was a red shimmer to 5 on card auto for Luka it looks like a sticker that is actually on card and there it is, three of five. And this did come back a PSA nine, but still an awesome card. 
Uh, I believe the centering's off a little bit, and one be one of the corners was not exactly sharp. But nine is still a big, big um, score for this card. That is it for the submissions that people hit in the group breaks. The next three are cards that I pulled on my own or or sent on my own. So this first card we was a cracked ice from Fortnite. It is Midas. This is the guy you want in in the cracked ice in the Fortnite series three. Um, I'm I've just been me and my son have been ripping a lot of Fortnite off camera and. Uh, we, we've just been submitting a lot of the cracked ice and a lot of the legendary characters and some of the other characters that he likes just for his own PC. Uh, I think Fortnite cards might be worth something someday. Might it may take a while, but that that is my belief. So I'm just building a collection for him, and you know, even if they are not, he he grew up playing Fortnite, so it's going to be a cool thing for him to have a slab Fortnite cards. Um, unfortunately, this did have a really bad corner it was just dented in and everything I tried my best to smooth it out I knew it would not get a good grade but I wanted to get this is our first Midas we've pulled uh, out of the cracked ice which is the, the the parallel that you want out of the mega boxes it's the most preferred parallel in Fortnite and this did come back a seven so you know I just wanted to get a slap for him because he has a lot of other Fortnite card slab now and um, I didn't care about grade so it, it, it did get a 7 because of that corner, but still a beautiful card and a good, nice lab to have in his collection. This next card I bought um, raw. If you guys remember, I was looking for a Kobe Bryant uh, auto for a long time. I finally bought one from my local LCS. This is an on-card. This is a 2009 absolute on-card Kobe Bryant jersey mem auto. The jersey is um, game-worn. There it is, game-worn swatch and attached photographs and is an on-card auto unfortunately this one did have you know it's 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 a darker card so it had and it's a thicker card so it had rough corners so I didn't want to grade it I just wanted it slab but I did grade the auto uh, because I thought the auto looked good and the auto did get a 10 so it is now a slab Kobe Bryant with the auto 10 um, and authenticated obviously so if you have a, a thicker card or a card that you want a PC and you don't want to, but it's not going to grade well, but you want to just slab it, you can actually send in to get just the, the card and the auto authenticated. Or in this case, since I'm not grading the card, I got the auto, the card authenticated and the auto grade as a 10. So it makes the card look a little bit better in the slab. Very nice. That's my first Kobe Bryant autograph. So. This last card is one I bought off eBay raw. So I bought it. I'll put a picture of it on the screen right now. I paid uh, just over $1,200 for it raw. It was on auction and uh, I sniped it at the last second. I saw it was kind of low, so I was watching it. I saw that it, no one was really bidding it up because it's off season. Uh, it, I think it ended at like a random time in the day. So I, I bought it raw. And uh, one thing when I'm looking for when I buy cards raw off eBay is the person's store or seller profile. Do they have many items listed that are graded? Because if they have a lot of items, cards that are graded, it means that they grade cards or know about grading cards. This guy's eBay was all raw cards. Every single, he had like 30, 40 items for sale. Every single card was raw. So I know that this person is just a collector, doesn't grade the cards, maybe just rips and puts them on, on his store. Anyways. So I pulled, I bought this uh, Justin Herbert die cut zebra from 2000 select rookie field level. Of course, I bought it as a raw card. I thought this corner wasn't perfect. It's not as bad as I, I remembered it, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's perfect. I wouldn't say it's soft either though. De definitely not the sharpest corner. All the other surface was clean. All the other corners were clean. And this did come back a PSA 10. So I definitely made out on this one. Uh, I bought it raw for about 1,200. I believe I've seen sales anywhere between four and 5,500, 4,000 and 5,500. So we made out this time. It's not gonna happen like that all the time. Sometimes you're gonna buy raw cards off eBay and you're gonna find the surface marks and all that, but try to buy from someone who doesn't have a lot of graded cards on their site. Even if they do, maybe they just didn't, don't wanna grade the card or whatever. So this one's gonna stay in my collection for a while. It looks really good. I love, I, this is my first like big zebra card. And I have other field her, uh, select level. I have a dragon scale graded as well, but 
and that does it for this submission so uh, let me know if you guys have uh, recently bought any cards raw and graded them yourself what and what your result was i'd like to know if you guys made a big profit from doing that do me a favor smash that like button if you're new to the channel hit that sub button hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching check you guys out next time